Hi, I'm Ann Warda, and I am the Executive Director of Burpee Museum of Natural History. My name is Josh Matthews. I'm the Englehart Moore Director of Paleontology here at Burpee Museum. Today, we're going to be looking at different features of bird feet. Some birds have feet for grasping. These claw-like talons allow them to grab on and hold on to their prey. Other birds have feet for perching. With four toes, they have one in the back to wrap around the branch and hold on. Other birds have climbing and grasping feet. They have two toes in front and two toes in back to keep their balance so that they don't topple over. Some birds have scratching feet. This allows them to dig into the earth and find seeds and insects as they scavenge for food. Some birds have swimming feet. These are webbed for paddling in the water. What you'll find today is the shape of a bird's foot tells us a lot about where and how it lives. Let's look at the feet of this golden eagle. Much different than something like a duck. They don't have the webbing in between. They have these really sharp talons. They're occupying a different part of the ecosystem. They're a bird of prey. Your ducks are typically eating invertebrates and plants, whereas your hawks, your eagles, your peregrine falcons, things of the, that nature, they're catching live animals like mice and rabbits and they're tearing them apart and eating them. So those talons, those feet are used to basically secure the prey, stop them from moving, and allowing them to tear them apart to eat them. Let's take a look at feet that are used for perching. Notice they have three of their toes in front and one in the back that wraps around the branch and allows them to hold on for stability. Um, they're flying through the forest, they're landing on branches, so they got those three kind of shorter toes with, with these long claws that help grasp branches. Very similar to the perching feet, the climbing feet have two backward facing toes. So we'll see this in woodpeckers. You'll see this in the Carolina parakeet and other birds that climb vertically up the trees. They use two forward facing toes and two backward facing toes to stabilize themselves as they climb up the trees. So what about our scratchers? Birds like chickens, and this rig-necked pheasant have strong nails and strong feet that they use to dig into the ground while they're looking for insects and seeds. Now, Josh, what about our water-dwelling friends? What do their feet look like? Now, if you look at the ducks, you can see they're much more different. They got the three toes coming out the front with one in the back. However, they're webbed. They have this webbing in between each toes that help them swim through the water. So when, they're, when they dive underneath, they kick those feet and it lets them to speed through the water very quickly. Uh, if you look at the ibis and the spoonbill, again they're living near water but they're not swimming in the water like ducks are. So they have similar f shapes of feet, however they, however they do not have the webbing in between. With these three toes spread far apart, it allows them to walk on sand relatively easy without sinking into the sand. All right, it's your turn. Let's see if you can spot the difference in these bird feet. Can you match the bird to how the bird is using its feet? Pause the video now to give yourself a chance to think. Were you right? Great job. Let's try a couple more. What about this snowy owl? You're right, he has grasping feet. And this guy? This is a songbird and he has perching feet. What about this one? We see our woodpecker, two in front, two in back. Those are climbing feet. Great job. It's not just about the shape of the feet. It also depends on where the feet are positioned. Josh, tell us a little bit about how this feature makes birds different. Another interesting feature of these feet in some of these animals, if you look at the loon and the penguin, the feet are actually far back in the body. So loons don't spend much time on land at all. They spend almost all their time in the water. If they're not in the water, the only time they really go on to land is for nesting, to sit on a nest. So their feet are really far back in the body and they don't walk really well on, on, on the land because they're not adapted for that part of the ecosystem. When a loon tries to fly, they actually have to run across the surface of the water for a long ways before, until they get enough speed to take off and fly. Kind of the similar things with the penguins. Now penguins don't fly, but those feet are, those feet are placed way back in the body so when you see them walking on ice, they can fall into the water and start swimming relatively quickly. So that's why penguins look like they're hobbling back and forth. You can see it has a lot to do with where the legs are positioned on their body. 
Well, I hope you learned a lot of cool things about bird feet today. We sure enjoyed sharing a lot of our stuff from the Burpee Museum collection. Bye-bye, and keep enjoying science.